the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad. My friends, mga kapatid, magandang umaga. Today we are in this historical moment of our community. Today, we gather at the shrine, in front of the shrine of San Lorenzo Ruiz de Manila. So happened that 20 years ago, Father Larry and I were here to dedicate this shrine 20 years ago. I don't know if you remember that. You don't remember that. You don't remember anything. Your, your senior moment. <laughs> so today is the feast of San Lorenzo Ruiz de Manila, the first Filipino saint and martyr. I will be the second one. <laughs> or maybe... You're the third one. No, that's right. Oh, that's right. I forgot. And Father Lalo, of course, our godfather of the Filipino community, we welcome him and we welcome all of you. Yes. And so for the times when we fill our hearts with doubt in the power of our faith, we ask God's mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you got all the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you are the strength in times of weakness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. And let us pray to our loving God. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the same perseverance shown by your martyrs so Luis Luis de Manila and his companions in serving you and their neighbor, since those persecuted for the sake of righteousness and blessed in your kingdom, to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Now the first reading. Uh, 
a reading from the Ecclesiastes. For everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born, and a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek, and a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to cast away, a time to, to tear, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time of war, and a time for peace. What gain has the worker from his toil? I have seen the business that God has given to the children of men to be busy with. He has made everything beautiful in its time. Also, he has eternity into a man's heart. Yet, so that he cannot find out what God has done from the beginning to the end. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Praise be to the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war, my fingers for battle. Blessed, Blessed be, be the, the Lord, Lord, my rock. He is my loving God and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield, in whom I take refuge, who subdues people under me. Blessed, Blessed be, be the Lord, Lord my rock. rock. Lord, what are human beings that you care for them, mere mortals that you think of them? Blessed, Blessed be, be the Lord, Lord my rock. rock. They are like a breath. Their days are like fleeting shadow. Blessed, Blessed be, be the Lord, Lord my, my rock. rock. second reading. A reading from the book of James. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Blessed is the one who perseveres under trials because, having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. And Jesus said, Whoever wishes to be my follower must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow in my steps. Whoever would have saved life or his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. What profit does he show who gains the whole world and destroy himself in the process? If a man is ashamed of me and my doctrine, if the son of man will be ashamed of him when he comes in his glory 
and that of his Father and his holy angels. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Again, as I said earlier, that we are in this very historical moment in the life of the church. For the first time since 2000, we have the celebration of San Lorenzo Ruiz here at the shrine of San Lorenzo at St. Joseph's Cemetery. I'd like to thank John and the members of the staff. So, kudos to them for allowing us and to the diocese for allowing us to be here this morning. Salamat po. Thank you so much. Give them a big hand. <laughs> Father Larry and I are so happy that you are with us today. The communities of St. Patrick's and St. Joseph here gathered. As I said earlier, Father Larry is my godfather. As you can see, he's a lot older than I am. He's been a martyr throughout his life. Right, Father Larry? <laughs> but perhaps that nothing and no one can stop us from the love of God, right? Nothing and nada and no one can stop us from the love of God. Even in the midst, in the midst of pandemic, we are here to honor this man of faith, San Lorenzo Ruiz de Manila, the first Filipino martyr and saint. And every day, my friends, we are called to martyrdom, not, to, not physical martyrdom but to die every day for him, right? We need to live our faith because not everyone is called to martyrdom, but we are all called to live our faith every day so that we can die for him every day, right? To be witnesses. Remember what I said yesterday in my homily? To finish strong is not where you begin but where you finish, right? And it's so important today that we are reminded of the martyrdom of San Lorenzo Ruiz, who gave his life for the faith, for the church. We are here today because of someone like San Lorenzo Ruiz de Manila, who gave their life for the faith and for the church and for our Lord Jesus Christ, right? So I would say, my friends, that if you choose to die today as a martyr, we will take care of you. There's no, there's no problem. You have a place here at St. Joseph. <laughs> yeah, we will take care of you. You have a place here at St. Joseph. But seriously, every day, every moment of our lives, we are asked to carry the cross of Christ, to embrace the cross. The cross is our identity as Christian. Right? The cross is our identity as Christian. Every time we gather, we make the sign of the cross. Right? We cannot walk away from the cross. The, this is who we are, to embrace the cross and to carry the cross, the cross of love and forgiveness. We are asked every day to love one another, and the heart of Christian love is forgiveness. It is, it is about loving and forgiving, and dying and living for Christ. Every day, every moment of our lives. To so those who are watching with us, on YouTube and Facebook live, live throughout the world. Did you know that Pope Francis is watching today? Maybe not. <laughs> but what Jesus said today, what prophet does it, he show who gives the whole world and destroys himself in the process. 
Today, we give thanks to God for the cross, for the life and faith of San Lorenzo Ruiz, the first Filipino saint and martyr. Be a martyr every day for Christ, for the church. Live your faith and die every day for him. Right? Do not deny Christ, but deny those who will destroy the church. Those who will destroy Christ. Deny them, but do not deny yourself. But deny those who will inflict wound and hurt and pain to our church. Be strong. Finish strong. Be one with us in the martyrdom of San Lorenzo Ruiz de Manila. Finish strong. And now please stand as we now offer our prayers to our loving God. If you hear some voice, someone is here. If you cannot see that person, she's real. That our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Bishop Michael, all the clergy and church leaders may persevere and guide us in our faith and the truth of the gospel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord your prayers. prayers. That our government leaders may remain respectful and compassionate to all lives. We pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord your prayers. prayers, that we may emulate St. Lorenzo Ruiz, the first canonized Filipino saint, his faithfulness and steadfast in Christ's teachings. We pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord your prayers. prayers, for our front and back liners to have our almighty free full protection from this COVID-19, we pray to the Lord. Lord, your prayers. That all the souls of our deceased loved ones and all the victims of the corona pandemic, we pray to the Lord. Lord, your prayers. And we pray to all the our intention in our hearts especially for those holy souls in purgatory, those who have no one to pray for, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord your prayers. prayers. We pray for the soul of Brianna Mar Marie Griot. Griot. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord your prayers. prayers. for the communities of St. Patrick's and St. Joseph, and for our diocese as we continue to carry the cross of love and forgiveness for all of us. For faith, let us pray to the Lord. Lord God, most loving Father, we stand before you today in thanksgiving for the gift of your son on this day as we honor your saint, San Lorenzo Ruiz de Manila. Be with us as we offer you our prayers we ask this with confidence through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Please be seated.
akin lahat ng ay kakantin sa iyo lamang ang puso ko sa iyo We pray now that my sacrifice and yours may be pleasing to God, the Almighty Father. As we venerate the passion of your martyr, San Lorenzo Ruiz de Manila and his companions, grant that through this sacrifice, O Lord, we may proclaim mortally the death of your only begotten Son, who not content with encouraging the martyrs by word, strengthen them likewise by example, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyrs. For on the feast of San Lorenzo Ruiz de Manila, you bid your church rejoice, so to you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end. We acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. This is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a jopo, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, said the blessings. He broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be for that for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We read this bread and drink this cup. We proclaim your death, O Lord until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have hold us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking in the body and the blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church is spread to other world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Michael, our Bishop, with John, all the bishops and the clergy. Remember us, our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Today we remember Brianna Marie Grail in baptism. She died with Christ and those who have died in your mercy. Welcome then to the light of your face. Have mercy us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Saint Joseph for his spouse, and the Blessed Apostles, and all your saints, with Saint Anne, Saint Joachim, Saint Patrick, Saint Lorenzo Ruiz de Manila, Saint Pedro Calunsud, and those who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced eternal life, and we praise and glorify you. To your son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In thanksgiving for the gift of San Ruiz de Manila, at the Savior's command and form a divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracefully grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracefully grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. My friends, behold, 
Behold the Lamb of God, Cordero ng Diyos, nag-aalis ng kasalanan sa buong sanlibutan. And happy are those who are called to this supper. Lord, I'm not worthy, should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be here. Receive what you are, become what you receive. Amen. So we'll try to social distance as we receive communion. Uh, that is the protocol of the diocese. Thank you so much. In the presence of our God, as we gather here in Christ, Feel the Spirit breathe upon us, the bread of life, grace and divine. We have come to break the bread, as we come to share our lives. Let us bring these fruits to the table. The love of God, yours and mine. Ankata wani Christo. Ankata wani Christo. Behold the body of Christ. Jesus our Savior and life. Rejoice, O oh people of God, we are the body of Christ. When we gather in our homes, through our prayers and our meals, we are fed and nourished together. Our family is broken and blessed in the household of the Lord, where we come to share the meal. We are fed the words of our Savior, one family strength and the Angkata wani Kristo, angkata wani Kristo. Behold the body of Christ, Jesus our Savior alive. Rejoice, the people of God. We are the body of Christ. Angkata wani Christo. Angkata wani Christo. Behold the body of Christ. Jesus our Savior and Rejoice, the people of God, we are the body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ.
Now let us pray. And having fed upon heavenly delights, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that by the example of our Saint San Lorenzo Ruiz de Manila and his companions, we bear in our hearts the marks of your son's charity and suffering, and ever enjoy the fruit of perpetual peace and grace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Again, please be seated for a while. We'll have another 30 minutes. <laughs> but I know that Father Larry has to go to the diocese. So I think Father Larry and I, we are so happy that you are here with us today. And Marai Pong Salamat, muchas gracias to the communities of St. Patrick's and St. Louis and St. Joseph, big yourself a big hand. Yes. And then also we have visitors from Pittsburgh, right? Yeah. Um, Sergio Palagas who donated our St. Lorenzo Ruiz to St. Joseph right here. Yes, it was him. Yeah. And, but like, I would like to thank the community of St. Joseph Cemetery, uh, headed by John. John, thank you, and uh, staff, yes. Thank you so much. And this is a historical moment, John, and we'll do it again next year, right? Yes, every year. It's gonna be now, every year, it's gonna be here at the St. Joseph Cemetery. As I said earlier, that if you follow the way of St. Joseph, the, the way of the cross, and if you die a martyr, I'll guarantee you, you will have a place here at the cemetery. Okay? We will make sure you have a place here. But one thing that is so beautiful about San Lorenzo Ruiz de Manila is when that he was not, her fear is not about dying. His fear was about losing his life during the time of pain and suffering. That was her fear. Her fear is not about losing his life, but her fear, but his fear was losing about his faith during the time of his pain and his struggle and suffering. That was his fear, not losing his life. But God was with him to strengthen him, to guide him, to embrace him. And he gave him the cross. The cross of martyrdom. Can we do that? Yes. Can we carry the cross? Yes. I am your cross. <laughs> Can you carry me? Okay. So by the way, after this, we will have, uh, we will give you uh, food to go. Right? Right here? If you can pick it up. So we have lichen. We have lichen and lumpian pancet. Live one. So thank you. Thank you, Eddie and Manny, and to Mike and to Derek. And of course to Meritel for broadcasting this one live on YouTube and Facebook. And to the San Luis Ruiz group that put this together. Thank you so much. Imelda, uh, at Marcela, uh, Susan, who else? So I'm going to ask the members of the San Lorenzo to please stand. And everybody. And everybody. Yes. Okay. So thank you. Malay pong salamat. We'll do it again next year. Without COVID or without COVID. Right? And to all of you that came, malay pong salamat. This is a good historical moment. Yes. I want to pray the San Lorenzo Ruiz. Together. Please stand. Malay pong salamat. Together we'll pray the San Lorenzo Ruiz. Beloved Lorenzo Ruiz, confronted with death, you proclaim your readiness to die a thousand times for your Christian faith. Today the whole world admires your courage. We feel particularly proud of you as our brother, and we pray you, a family man, to take our families, keep them united in love. You who bore your sufferings with patience and resignation, Intercede for the sake of mind and body. Help them to receive the grace of God's miraculous healing. You who died in a foreign country, take care of Filipinos living and working in this country and in other parts of the world. 
you an example of Christian fortitude. Sustain our faith and make it spread and grow strong all around us. You, the Philippines' first saint, be the country's special protector. Unite us as one people. Help us to work in harmony for the development of progress and give us peace. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And may the peace of God, which is beyond all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our celebration today has not ended, but you must go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Magandang umaga and please pick up your food to go. Thank you so much. Do not go home without it. Again, thank you so much. Father Lord and I, we thank you once one more. Okay, let us sing some living service. Okay, hold on. Not yet, not yet. Ang mayang Pilipinas ngayon ay nagsasaya isang sumuko sa langit si Adok ang magkaroon silamat sa may kapal sa biyaya ng Godyuyan Sing na 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 ikdi, kayo maging dahakila. Paurihin na Lorenzo, ay iyong mga kasama. Alagad ang may kapal, sa gisag sa pag-asa. Sa rosaryo ng birhen, kami yung kasama. Iyo ang abang puso, Lorenzo de Manila. Iyo ang abang puso, Lorenzo de Manila. Viva San Lorenzo! Viva! Viva San Lorenzo! Viva! Viva San Lorenzo! Viva! Okay, now we can pick up your food for being a good martyr. Okay. Actually, you can eat here. It's spread out though. Mix, oh yeah.